you just said I I I believe in unconditional love, but then you're a big condition of a man being with you is him earning a lot of money. So it, yeah. the contradictions yeah, but are like, crazy. Yeah, if if I'm not going to be happy in my life because there's so many things I want and I'm feeling restricted because I don't have somebody that's going to going to be able to do the things I want to do in my life, then like it's going to make me res- have some resentment. Like a lot of relationships don't the, work the, out remember, because remember, of financial Kat, reasons. Kat the, Kat, the argument here is that unconditional love does not exist. That's what I'm saying. Do you believe her or, or no? Unconditional love does not exist. It yeah. does not exist between men and women. Yes or no? In romance, it does not. Mm-hmm. Yes or no? Just say no. Just say no. <laughs> I mean, you can you, you, you can say yes. Can I ask you, you, you why you believe in that? Why I believe in what? Unconditional love. Why you don't believe in unconditional love? Why I don't believe in unconditional Is it because love? Because you haven't experienced it. Okay, unconditional love between a man and woman is absolutely a fallacy. It does not exist. Everyone loves someone under some condition, whether he's tall, whether he's mm-hmm. attractive, yeah. whether he earns a kind of a certain amount of money, whether he's ambitious, whatever. The only people that are loved unconditionally are children and dogs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Period. The whole concept of unconditional love is some fairy tale bullshit that women say that is not true. And as a matter of fact, we tell guys on this podcast, there's no such thing as unconditional love because when a man believes in unconditional love, there's disastrous results. Why don't you would love me? Next thing they know, they're getting divorced, losing half their money, can't see their kids. And the problem is this man can't afford to believe in unconditional love because the consequences of their ineptitude is are severe. You lose your money, you lose your children, you lose your life by believing in Disney fairy tales. You guys can believe in Disney fairy tales because you guys benefit. Unconditional love. You know what? Eh, I'm not feeling it. You're not making the top 1%. Fuck you, nigga. Divorce. <laughs> yeah. Take your shit. I'm still in my Disney fairy tale. It doesn't matter because women rarely deal with negative consequences of their delusion. I'm, I, and I don't mean that to say to be an asshole, but it's the truth. I mean, I guess the definition was just a little hard for me to understand. Like, I've never heard of it in that way. It's true, though, that, like, a lot of women do love someone only under certain conditions. To include but, like, yourself? I would say all. I would say, to yes. Yourself? I would say no, all. I mean, I wouldn't criteria. say all because think about some people that are, like, straight out in the boondocks. And, like, the only people they have is, like, their brother and their sister and they're fucking so, committing at incest. So, like, so, some people believe that they they love that person because that's the only relationship here's a problem. that they know. <laughs> here's a problem. You can love, You can love somebody, right? unconditionally until how you feel changes. Yes. So for example, I may say, oh, I love my girl unconditionally. I'll do whatever, whatever she wants. She starts cheating on me. I don't, I don't have the same, that same love, love anymore. It's gone. So right. you can say that on paper, but the facts are, if someone's treating you like shit, you're not going to stay there forever. Right. You're going you're to get out. So that is conditional by itself. Remember, That's this true. podcast is for men. That mindset, no offense to you, is destructive for men to have. Yeah. You have the ability to do that as a young, attractive girl that men are going to come to you. You can believe in Disney fairy tales. We can't do that way because gazelles can dream. The lions have to know what the hell to do to eat. 